Hey creators, just wanted to show you the new Unreal project that I've uploaded to the Unreal Marketplace and to RenderCrate if you're a pro user. So these are actually materials that were on RenderCrate already, but I've set them up to be native in Unreal Engine with parallax occlusion mapping. So what does that mean? Well, if you take a look, you can see that this rocky material looks like it has a lot of depth. In fact, it looks like it has a displacement map, but it actually doesn't. If I look really low to the ground, you can see it's not actually displacing, it's just a trick. Just a real-time rendering trick. So it's actually a really complex material. If I open one of them up, you can see that our shader network is actually pretty complex, but I've set up material instances for you guys so you don't have to deal with any of this stuff. You'll notice that there's MM rocky ground and then MI rocky ground. If you're not familiar with Unreal Engine, this means master material and material instance. So the master material is the full complex material which you can dig into if you know what you're doing. But if you don't, and you don't want to mess with that, you can go into the material instance and open that up. And we've exposed some settings for you. So you can turn on the height ratio, the max steps, and the minimum steps, which is quality. You can also change the shadow quality, UV tiling, and things like that. So I can increase the height, and it's going to be really deep now. You can see it's a little blurry right now, but once you save, um, it'll update. Uh, you can also increase your tiling. So that's where you can find the settings if you don't want to dig into the full shader network. We actually have more than just these six materials. I've actually broken up all of the RenderCrate ground materials into four separate projects. So let me just open up one more of them to show you. This is the cliff material pack, and you can see that these materials really benefit from that parallax occlusion mapping. They're so chunky and crunchy looking, so it adds a lot of depth to your scenes without adding too much render time. And you can see it's even going to occlude other pieces of geometry as if it's really sticking out, these little rocks here. Alright, and if you make anything cool with these materials, be sure to tag us on Instagram with it or share it on the Discord. Alright, later creators.